Hey y'all, it's your girl Empress Cheryl. We're gonna get some messages for those who resonate with the sign of Virgo, okay? These will be messages for May of 2023. Um, if you happen to come across the um this video after that time, after May of 2023, then um trust that there may still be some messages for you within this um video. If you just see the title of it and you resonate with the title. Um, but you're not a, a Virgo, then there may still be some messages for you within this reading. Okay, so tap in. All right, so how I'm gonna do it this time? Um, because I had um cleansed my decks, but I'm just kind of like picking up the decks that I feel drawn to. I like it better when I do that. So, I am going to do that, and I'm going to get some cards out first um, from each of these decks, the ones that I am drawn to, and put the story together. Let's see what spirit needs to be known for those who resonate with um, the sign of Virgo, okay? This needs to come out. Messages for Virgos. Virgos. Virgos, how y'all doing? Y'all on y'all spiritual journey? might be a real spiritual month for you or a month with heavy spiritual um activity let's see okay all right what do we got here maybe a month that you need to um stay strong invest in yourself ground yourself move forward on something we got this hell yes card hell yes <laughs> invest in yourself okay the song i just got um invest in yourself oh i feel bad now, now i can't think of the rest of the words Oh, it's my cousin's song, though. He a rapper. I'm a um, I'm a link it. All right, let's see what's going on. What is going on? Do you have a lot going on? Are you overwhelmed? Yeah, this one. I'm, I'm you gonna have to stand strong. That's definitely what I'm getting. But you can do it. Like, you can do, like, okay, so I'm getting this month, Virgos, it may, this month may be challenging for you. It may be, however, like, it's, it's the message here is for you to push through, for you to keep going, for you to, like, you know what I'm saying, buckle down, for you to stay, stay, you know, strong, like, with this tenacity here. But with this ten of fire, it's like this man is just pushing through. Like, yes, it may be hard. Yes, it may be tough. You know what I'm saying? Like, even with this five of wands, like this five of fire, which is the, like the five of wands, like there may be some type of battle, you know what I'm saying, that you have to go through. Something that you, you know what I'm saying? Like some type of competition or whatever. It's like you may be um, trying to kind of like, I got put in or, you know what I'm saying? Like, well, with this invest in yourself, like you're trying to invest in, in something. Like it's, there's something that you are trying to do and I'm getting that it may be trying on you. You know what I'm saying? Like this may be trying to you. Somebody may be trying you, but... I'm getting like count on yourself. 
Like, this is a month for you to count on yourself. Like, you can do this. You can push through. Like, you can get to the other side of whatever this is. Like, whatever. You can get to the other side of this month. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's start there. You can get to the other side. But you can get to the other side of whatever this battle is um, that may be coming up for you. But what I'm getting is like, you're going to need to make sure you're grounding yourself. Make sure you're, um, I'm just getting kind of like strong in your faith, strong in your faith. Like what, what, you know what I'm saying? Like you're going to need some spiritual strength this month. And I'm getting as long as you remember that, as long as you like use your spiritual tools, you know what I'm saying? Like what, what, what do you do to ground yourself? You know what I'm saying? Like, what do you do to come back to yourself? What do you do when you, you know what I'm saying? Like you, if you, you trying to get battle ready, you know what I'm saying? Like, think about that. What do you do in those times? You know what I'm saying? Do you pray? Do you fast? Do you, you know what I'm saying? Like, read? Do you connect? Like, how do you connect? How do you gather your spiritual strength? That's, that's, that's what you're going to need. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I'm getting is what you're going to need this month. But you, you, but you can do it. Like, you can overcome whatever it is that is coming up for you, but you're going to need your spiritual strength. You know what I'm saying? There's some type of, um battle that I'm getting but it's like you can endure it like there's no doubt that none of these cards are letting or are making me feel like you can't do this you know what I'm saying it's gonna be too hard it's gonna be too like you built for this is really what I'm getting it's like you already built for this like it's already written like you're already going to overcome you're already going to come on the other end of it but it's kind of like you're going to have to remember your strength you're going to have to remember to use your tools you're going to have to remember like how do you get back to self how do you make sure that you take care of self when times get tough that's that's the biggest thing that I'm getting here, okay? But remember to invest in yourself, okay? Now is the time to get the support you've been longing for. Out of all the things you can invest in, investing in yourself has by, has by far the highest payback, okay? What do you need the most support with? What can you outsource? What are the things you can remove from your plate? Now is the time to invest in the knowledge, people, tools, or systems to streamline your business, win back time and energy, and gain the information you need. I'm just getting you overwhelmed. You're overwhelmed and it's kind of like, it's, it's, it's at you. It's on you. It's, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, maybe you're needing some type of like partnership or some, some equal, I'm just getting like an equal give and take. It's like you're needing to, but this other card said outsource as well. So it's like you're, as much as you're giving out, you need to be receiving is, is kind of what I'm getting. So as much as you're, you know what I'm saying, doing all this work, putting in all this work, you also need to make sure that you are feeding yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like you're taking the time to care for yourself as well. And as long as you remember that, as long as you do that, as you continue to push through, because I don't see no quitting, you know what I'm saying? Like you got to keep going. But as long as you do that, as you continue to push through, then you're good. Make sure you ground yourself. But it's definitely like, you're definitely going to come out on top is what I'm getting. Okay. It says the timing is ripe and everything and everyone are aligned in order to support you with this endeavor. If it doesn't feel like a full hearted yes, Ask yourself if this if this decision limits you or empowers you and go with what makes you feel expansive. Remember, when you say yes to life and all its miracles, it says yes back to you, okay? Offload some of that energy. You have been immersed in a lot of energy that's not yours and is weighing down on your spirit. 
Go for a barefoot walk on the grass, touch some soil, hug a tree, or bathe in a pool of water. Call upon Mama Earth to ground you by unloading all of that unwanted energy. You don't need to ground yourself. It's a lot going on. Maybe it's a lot that you are going forward in. Maybe it's a big task that you're, you know what I'm saying, taking on. But it's like you can do it. Invest in yourself. Count on yourself. You can do this. But remember, you still need to care for yourself. As much as you're putting out, you need to be putting back in, okay? That's what you need to know moving forward for this month, all right? Y'all take care. Have a jazzy day.